Hi, I'm Miss Michelle with the Monroe County Library System. I'm a youth service coordinator, and today I'm bringing you a special edition of Kids Cooking in the Kitchen. Uh, on behalf of our summer reading program, um, Tales and Tales, I have a special treat for the last week of summer reading programming. This week's theme is Saddle Up and Read. Oh, what's Saddle Up and Read? That sounds like a horse theme. Yep, you got it, it is a horse theme. And we have a horse snack for you. Well, not to feed horses, but something kind of like a horse would eat. Today, we are going to be making a very simple, easy, quick treat that requires a little bit of adult supervision and a lot of kid interaction in making and in eating. What will we need for this snack? Well, we're going to need some butterscotch chips, some chow mein noodles, some wax paper, and a paper plate or a bowl. Paper plate or another plate. No bowls, it's gonna to be too hard. You're gonna take your wax paper and you're gonna line your plate with it. Also, you're going to need, these are the chow mein noodles. I'm gonna make just enough for two snacks today. I'm not using a whole thing of chow mein noodles. This is about a quarter of a cup. And also what you're going to need is a glass bowl, a fork, and you're gonna need to melt. I put in here probably about a quarter of a cup and I melted this in the microwave. This is where the parent help or adult supervision and help is required because this bowl is hot. So here's my chow mein noodles. Watch this. This is as quick as a horse race. You're gonna dump them in there. That's what they look like. And you're gonna stir them up and you're gonna coat them with that melted butterscotch. Now, boys and girls, here's something else I'm gonna tell you. These are called haystacks because, well, they kind of look like the color of hay, but you can also use peanut butter ones. You could also use chocolate chips. You could use, are you ready for this? A combination of chocolate chips and the peanut butter chips. And mm -mm -mm. once those are mixed up and stirred together, we're gonna take them and you're gonna put them out on the wax paper and you're gonna kinda, I don't wanna use my fingers, but I might have to. You're gonna put them on the wax paper. This could make three little snacks. Here's the other one. And this is a good, hey, I want something sweet after lunch. If you got the chocolate chips in the house and some chow mein noodles, you can whip these up in no time. And so then I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and let them get hard. Now, sometimes chow mein noodles come in a big bag like this. Well, if you really like them, you could buy the big bag and you could have these snacks all summer long. Or sometimes they come in the can. In the Chinese food uh, aisle, um, it's also in where the tacos would be. Uh, anything that is, um, um, I'm trying to think like hot, not hot sauce, but let's say stir fry, canned stir fried vegetables. That's where you're going to find the chow mein noodles. Okay. You want to see what they're going to look like after they come out of the freezer? Here they are. These are little haystacks made with the butterscotch chips. Hmm. That's a nice afternoon snack. And with that afternoon snack, you could go outside under a shade tree, pick up another reading record from the Monroe County Library, work on getting some more reading done for the summer and having fun. And guess what? Don't forget, boys and girls, you can enter to win the grand prize all summer long. You just have to turn in a reading record. Our programs will end and they will end the last week of July. No, July 26th they end, the programming. But you can still do the reading records. So, have fun. Enjoy your summer. Come visit us at the Monroe County Library. Saddle up and go to your local grocery store and pick up your chow mein noodles and your chips. 
and happy trails. Mmm.